This is a preliminary procedure. I'm cleaning the patient's teeth. They are stained. The stains are caused by things like tobacco, coffee, or tea. They appear on the surface of your teeth. When these have not been cleaned by a dental practitioner in a while, we have at hand when we start working on a case like this and how the dental assistants are organized. That's why we have two cameras. One of the two, I don't know if it's the one that is framing me now, shows how we are organized in general. When we work on a case like this, we often choose to work with two dental assistants, not just one, to speed up the steps of the procedure, which are quite time-consuming. Thus, we try to save time to organize our work at best. Now I'll show you the instruments. They are not organized in time sequence, one after the other. The different items are not interconnected. But they are all useful for our work. Let's see what we have here, for example. The thing I'm pointing to is the Vita Classical Shade Guide. Down here we have the Ingot Shade Guides. I don't know if you can see it. I think so. I think that's evident. Can you see, for example, how dark this cuspid is? Then here the teeth get slightly lighter. Clearly I'm exaggerating. It's only slightly inclined. Therefore, the interincisal line is also slightly inclined. It isn't straight. It's slightly tilted. Now you cannot see it from there. I'll ask him to turn in this. Let's say that this might be the change to be made. Okay. Now let's take the face bow with the mock-up in situ. Yes, can you see it clearly? You can see it already as it is, right? This is live shooting. You frame the mirror. It's okay, we are live shooting. We have seen there is space. We have seen the thickness and the mock-up. Give me the others, dental assistant. Okay, I'll give you